Six biggest turn-ons for women. In this video, I'm going to tell you exactly what turns on a woman, and I'm going to give you the play-by-play -play and what you can do when you're attracting women so you can make sure she's turned on by you and you get better results with women and attracting them in your day-to-day. -day. Hi guys, if you are new to this channel, my name is Apollonia Fuanti. I am a dating relationship and life coach for men, and I help men not only with their attraction skills and dating women, but also taking them to the next level and getting them sustainable results with high-value women. And I'm very proud of that. And if this is your first time visiting me, I welcome you to subscribe so you get to know me and we get better acquainted on this channel with one another. Now, also too, if this is your first time or if you're an active viewer, I would encourage you to comment below as it always helps the algorithm, but also too, I love hearing from you guys. So I wanna go into the turn ons for women and the biggest ones that we are gonna dive into today. So number one is confidence. This whole thing with confidence. We always hear this word confidence, right? But Women are attracted to men who are self-assured and confident in themselves. But let me be clear, men. Confidence comes and goes. Not everybody in this world is confident every day they wake up, but a true confident man self-assures himself and has a high value of self-worth within him. Not from ego self-worth, but a self-worth where he knows who he is, he knows what he wants, he has empathy for others and himself, and he has value in who he is as a man. And a man who is comfortable in his own skin and can hold a conversation without getting extremely nervous or not getting into bad habits and being so complacent where he doesn't step out of his comfort zone often, then that's where you're gonna go wrong in confidence. The man that is confident gets out there and takes risks, doesn't always just stay in his comfort zone and goes home and nine to five and just doesn't do much with his life, right? So this is how we grow confidence within ourselves. A lot of people ask me, Apollonia, how do I get confident with myself? It's about keeping promises to yourself and also to having a schedule, doing things, finding a purpose, going out there and living in your whole being of having your goals and hobbies. And this is highly attractive for a woman. Confidence also shows that a man is capable of taking charge and making decisions because if you're not able to lead yourself in your own life and make decisions in your own life, how are you gonna in turn make decisions for a woman or in the relationship, right? Hmm. Think about that. Number two, I think sense of humor goes a long way. And not everybody has to have the same sense of humor. You have to just own your own sense of humor, right? Whether it be sarcastic or what dry, whatever it may be. A man with a good sense of humor is a huge turn on for many women. Being able to make a woman laugh is a surefire way to catch her attention and keep it. A man with a good sense of humor is also seen as more relaxed and easygoing, which is appealing to many women. When we find ourselves to be more in comfort of a man and having humor and making us laugh, it makes us feel a little bit more safe, right? Number three is intelligence. A man who is well-read, knowledgeable, and able to hold an intellectual conversations or intelligent conversation is highly attractive to many women. Now, you don't have to be a guy that's graduated from Harvard and know everything about the world and all of this. That's not what I'm saying. Intellectual conversations don't always come from this school knowledge, but it comes from life knowledge. And this is where I talk to my men in my three-month attraction program, where I give them transformational results and I work with them for three months. And one of the biggest things I talk to them about is intelligent conversations don't just have to do with knowledge and books. What it means is taking your story of your life and owning it to share what you've learned from it, to have this place of vulnerability where it comes from a place of expansion. There's a true essence to a man being able to share his life of what he's been through and obstacles and goals to overcome and owning that. A woman looks at that as highly attractive guys. And I teach you how to do it in my three month group coaching program, by the way. A man who is intelligent is also seen basically as more capable of providing, to be honest. A lot of men think, oh my God, because I was raised poor and I overcame this, this is such a weak thing for me. Absolutely not. I think in the men community, they go so wrong is like, just because you've come from something that wasn't the best or because you just haven't had the best experience, the best parents, the best childhood, whatever the case may be, doesn't mean that you are lack. It actually means that you are more in abundance because when you have a story, you have more of an emphasis to connect with someone. And getting out of that story also shows that you're more capable of providing for yourself and a woman and a family and to protect a woman, which can be a turn on to many, many women. Number four is ambition. A man who is driven and ambitious and has a clear idea of what he wants in life is highly attractive to many women. I think ambition shows that a man is capable of setting and achieving goals, which can be a turn on for many women. I have a friend that she is the, one of the top CEO in 
an eyeglass company and she works with a bunch of men and she's the, the second head of the whole company. There's a first CEO and she's the CFO, whatever it's called. And she makes great money and her husband actually stays home with the kids. And it's interesting dynamic that I see because it's not something that's always familiar in our day to day. It's usually the women that are staying home with the kids, right? We see but the world is changing. And one thing that I've noticed is that her husband and her have such a solid foundation and she's still in her feminine when she gets home, even though her husband is the one staying home. One of the things that he embodies are the things I'm telling you right now, but the hugest thing is he still has ambition besides just, he has ambition in his children, his, his job of, you know, what he does is staying home with the kids and being there, but he takes care of the household. He takes care of her. He goes and travels by himself on time times. He takes breaks. He has goals. He's part of a run club. Like he has things for himself, man. And so many men think, oh, I have to be this high achiever all the time in order for a woman to be driven by me. Absolutely not. Ambition is what you own. Number five is kindness. Kindness comes from lack of ego and a man understanding what is healthy ego and a man understanding what is wounded ego. So a man who is kind and considerate and genuinely cares about others is highly attractive to many women because he doesn't have an attachment. Kindness is often seen as a sign of good character. And a man who is kind is also seen as more likely to be a good partner and a father. I'm not saying this nice guy mentality, meaning like I'm gonna cater to women and just do whatever I want for them. No, that's not, it's not what I mean at all. And that's not something I teach. But what I'm saying here is there's a difference between healthy ego and unhealthy ego. And I break this down for men because men have operated for lifetimes off of their ego because this ego is survival for a lot of men because of how society is for men. And so, I get groundbreaking results in my three month transformational program when I specifically talk about ego. It makes so much sense to men. So they stop questioning like why they're reacting to women a certain way, why women go off on them a certain way because it's coming from an ego place. And if this speaks to you, if you want to get sustainable results in your attraction process and really attract high value women and live more of a high value quality relationship life, have accountability, you know, get back out there, start practicing some mock dates with women I have in my community, um, going on real dates with me that I'll match you with. I think it's really important for you to enroll in my three month transformational program. You can book a call as we don't accept just anybody. We accept men that are really dedicated to getting transformational results because I'm in there for every week with you for three months, training you and really getting you set up to be able to freaking flourish after this three month transformational call program. So go ahead and book the call right below. I'll put it up here in the cards and in the link below. Let's get into number six with this. Another one we talk about in the three months transformational program called the algorithm of attraction. It is my emotional intelligence. Oof. A man who is emotionally intelligent and able to understand and navigate his own emotions as well as emotions of others is highly attractive to many women. This is something my husband does to the T perfectly. My husband has taught me so much about emotional intelligence that has helped me not only be able to have more knowledge from a man being in my life of how emotional intelligence should be in the masculine world, but also how it makes a woman feel right? Emotional intelligence is often seen as a high sign of maturity. And a man who is emotionally intelligent is also seen as someone that you can trust, someone you can build a life with, someone that can build a family with, someone you can feel safe with, and someone that can also lead. And so you can fall as a woman, you can fall more into her feminine and be able to do the dance of polarity in you with the relationship. And so that's why that's really important. So when it comes to attraction, everyone has their own preferences and desires. However, there are certain things that tend to be universal appealing to women, whether it's a man's appearance, his personality, his actions, his behavior, his emotional intelligence, and more. These turn-ons can make women feel drawn to you and increase interest to you. Those were my biggest turn-ons. And if you want to take things to the next level, not only subscribe to this channel, but I have this next video right over here. I want you to watch this next video on the watch next playlist so you can get better with attraction, understand what type of standards that you should have for women. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. And remember, you are always loved. Bye for now.